So what are we looking at this fantastic diorama-rama? The first thing we can see is the movement of the ilium right here, or the oscoxae moving back and forth. Can everybody agree that it can anterior tilt and posterior tilt? Okay, so we got that. True, true. Okay, all right. So anterior tilt and posterior tilt. Anyway, what happens with your feet? What can they do? Oh yeah, they can swing back and forth a little bit right here, right? Like you're walking, okay? Then what can happen is I can keep the SI joint where it is and I could do a posterior tilt to the pelvis. So that posterior tilt takes that leg and makes it a little bit shorter. Did everybody see that? You gotta see this, okay? The orientation is around the SI joint for the instantaneous axis of movement. So I go ahead and pull up and the leg gets shorter. We call this a PI ilium. So it goes posterior inferior. Now why can the SI joint do that and get stuck there? Because the joint has rough edges on its surface and it's under a lot of stress where everything is loading down over top of it, okay? So we're gonna assume that that can happen. It leans back and gives you a little bit of extension and gets stuck. Mm -hmm. Pelvis rocks posteriorly, what do I get? I get a short leg on that side. So we're gonna say that it's stuck like that and that's what this is showing you right down here. That is stuck like that. So the gray line is the great bones are that ilium stuck back like this, so I see a shorter leg when I'm laying down. When my spine is straight through my legs, through my hips, it's nice and straight. When I see this right there, that's a short leg. But a cool thing that you can do to check for it is you can have the person do a sit-up. And if they sit up and that leg that was short gets longer, what could that indicate? That can indicate a stuck SI joint that's locked back in a PI position. Okay. So I'll do it again, yeah, I'll do it again. So we'll start right from the very basics right here. So how does it start? We start off with nice balance. I do posterior tilt of my pelvis, PI ilium. It rocks back and gets stuck there. That takes this leg and makes it shorter. When I'm laying down, that's what's shown in gray right here. That's the leg that is shorter compared to the other leg. And I have the person sit up. What happens to that short leg? That short leg goes from short to long. That's all you got to get. And that's a functional change, not a structural change. What's nice about functional changes? You can change it, right? Okay, you can correct it. So what is the opposite that can happen? Okay, if I go the opposite way, maybe I go to an anterior pelvic tilt. What happens to that leg? Gets long. Now when I'm laying down, when I'm laying down, that leg is long. And I go to sit up, what does that long leg do? It goes from long to short. So all I want you guys to get, posterior pelvic tilt, functional short leg, functional short leg when I lay down, when I go to sit up, it goes from short to long.